Hey everyone, this is Simpsons Tapper from TS The Home. If you haven't already, please join our Discord channel. Here's the link. All right, let's get right into it. So today, I wanted to bring you a video on what the uh, Unicorn Elite mod actually offers. There's been a lot of questions currently and, and, and some in the past. And I wanted to show everyone what the mod offers and answer some of your questions as well. All right, so let's get right into it. So first off the bat, when you log into the mod, you'll notice um, that it is pretty much a normal game, as you can see. But if you tap on the unicorn here on the bottom, it's going to activate the unicorn elite mod. And then you're going to get the top buttons, which we're going to start off first. And then just go back and just going back to the store menu, you're going to notice all the custom buttons and uh, you know all the amazing stuff that the mod has to offer inside. So let's get started with the top buttons first. So right off the bat, we have the thumbs up. So that's the giver's menu. So let's click on that and see what it offers. So you can give uh, donuts, cash, and some golden scratchers, along with more cash here. You can remove debris, add tickets, add Buddhas, boxes, tiles, uh, pier tiles, land tokens. You can unlock some Springfield and Heights land along with add old items and upgrade building levels. So this is mostly for givers that offer um, items in the Facebook groups. So it's a really good menu to have. All right, so moving along, we're gonna go into the uh, currency menu. So it's similar to the givers menu, but it's more in depth, in, meaning that it offers more quantities of uh, currency. So here you can add uh, donuts as well. And then there's many variations where you can remove them. So just to show you how it works, we could add a thousand donuts here as much as we want. And then we can uh, go over here and then we can actually remove them. Moving along, we have cash. So we could add, let's say 10 million. And then we could remove 10 million. So that's how that works similar to the uh, Krusty Land tickets. We could add 10 million, and then we could remove 10 million. So it really depends on what the user wants. So that's how the currency menu looks like. Moving along, we have the spendables menu. So here we can add golden scratchers. Let's uh, say we add 10 of those, 10 mystery boxes. Uh, I'm saying 10, but it's 100. You know what I mean. It's too early in the morning. All right, so we added 100 Buddhas. Then we could add, um, let's say, 100 each of the currencies, which we've done. We'll add a couple more. And then you could basically add or remove 100 of each. Just showing here what it has to offer. And then we can go into the inventory, and I'll actually show you that I've added the three here. And just to show you the currency for Springfield Heights, we'll go into Springfield Heights uh, menu, which I've already passed, it's right here. And there you go. So we've added a couple hundred of each. All right, so that's the Spendables menu. Then moving along, we have the world icon. So essentially this just brings us to the town hall. And this is really good if you're looking for a specific character. And that's why we've added a top here. Just that way you're not spending you know minutes and minutes looking for a specific character in the game. Next on the top we have the miscellaneous menu. It's my favorite menu of out of all of them. So here you could do an inventory clean, which I'll show you how it works. So essentially anything that you have in your inventory, it's going to empty it. Right now I believe there's only three items. Yep, there was three, but it now it's removed. But there's over 3,500, 3,600 items in the game. And if you have 10, 20 of all the non-unique, it is gonna remove them. If you have a stuck character button, this is a good fix button to use, similar to the broke um, money mountain, it could fix that. If you're looking for your IRS, you can find that as well. Here, you can add some different uh, variations of uh, land tokens. You can also remove them along with removing your debris in your Springfield. You could also remove your trees. Something new that we just uh, recently added was removing the Springfield Heights trees along with the buffaloes. Then you could top off your uh, boardwalk tiles or remove them as well along with your ordered piers. 
then you can add all track pieces so we could do that now so that's added a hundred of each of all these here that are to our right then you could around add a hundred of each of the runway pieces which we've done and then what we could do is we could add some track pieces as well from the itchy and scratchy land event so we'll go ahead and do that as well these three then we just added this recently yesterday I had a 100 day XP multiplier so I'll add that in there and then we'll go into our inventory just to show you that we have these items added so different quantities different items great to add to someone's account all right so next we're just gonna go back to the miscellaneous menu we're gonna actually clean our inventory again and as you can see it's it's been emptied out so that's the miscellaneous menu next uh, we have the uh, find button uh, with the sunglasses icon so essentially this is A to Z like the alphabet and what these menus do and these buttons do is they find unique buildings and decorations in your town so if you're looking for a decoration or building that starts with the letter B just click on it everything's in alphabetical order and all you have to do is just find that item um, so let's say we're looking for the bare bronze so it's gonna tell us a couple things if you don't have it in your account it's gonna tell you that and then it's gonna either go into decorations or buildings depending on that item and then it's gonna ask you if you want to add it so let's say we added it we actually have a task with it all right so moving along, um, if we go back to B, it's going to actually find the item for us. So that's the next thing you'll do. Then if we actually put it in our inventory, and then we go back to that menu, B, it's going to bring it up in our inventory. So it does three things. It tries to find it. If it doesn't, then it looks for it in the decorations or building store menu if you have it it's actually going to bring you to that location where you have it in your account and then lastly if you have it in your inventory it's going to you know find it in your inventory so it saves you a lot of time essentially and we've done this for all the unique items so non-unique doesn't work because obviously you can have multiples of it so it's a really really nifty um, menu to have and you can find all your items in your account or other people's accounts then moving along we have the the sync menu so essentially this is really good for designers if they're doing a nice design for somebody's town uh, you want to use this button often because as we all know you're gonna get the BART screen from time to time and you don't want to lose your beautiful design your beautiful work so it's good to you know use the sync button here it's similar to the mail house and BART button but it's a little bit faster so those are the top buttons that we've uh, just talked about. Now I'm going to dive into the buttons that are inside. I won't go into all the buttons because there are a couple hundred buttons, but I will show you most of them. So let's get right into the store menu here. So right off the bat, you'll notice on the top here, you have your cash donuts, but we've also added tickets and land tokens just to show you how much you have in the account. Um, so first off we'll go into characters so this is similar to the one uh, in the normal game but the big difference is you could add all your characters so um, I believe there's a couple hundred of them uh, yes there's 700 of them just looking at my notes here on the side so there's over 700 characters that you could add with the buildings um, so they are in all alphabetical order as you can see and you can go one by one or you can add them all right, next one here is buildings. So similar to characters, um, you could add one by one or you can add them all here. Um, and there's roughly 900 um, buildings. Just to show you how one of the add all works, I'll click on this one here. It'll say, do you wanna add them? Click on yes. And all of them have been added. And then we can go into inventory. And as you can see, they are there. Or you can click on this button here and they'll be in order as well so we've added all those and then 
what we'll do just to start off fresh, we'll go into the miscellaneous menu and we'll empty our inventory just to start off from scratch. All right, so moving along, we've showed you buildings, now decorations. So similar to um, buildings and characters, this is your decoration menu. And it's from A to Z, you could add them all and there's over 1700 decorations that you can add. And they're from A to Z, they're all in alphabetical order, none of them are missing. So that's the decorations uh, menu. Then the next one is skins and facades. Some of the last three, they're all in order and you could add them all. And there's roughly 250 of these that you could add in your game. So the, these four buttons essentially include all the items from 2012 till the current uh, event that just ended uh, last week, which, which was Cirque du uh, Springfield. Um, so the next button that we'll talk about is new items. So the new items right now are, are Cirque du uh, Springfield. And as you can see, they're all here and they're all free. So with this mod, every single item is available, as I mentioned, from 2012 and they're all free. With every menu that's inside the store menu, you're going to be able to add everything. So it just makes it so much easier instead of manually trying to add, you know, the whole event, especially if it's a big event from Christmas, from, from previous events, it's going to take you a while to add everything. Here, all you have to do is just tap on that button there that adds the event and voila, it adds everything. So let's go into our inventory just to show you that it's added all the, the items from the, that event. So there you go. With, uh, with unique, unique items, only one is going to be added, but with non-unique, there'll be a variation of three or more being added to the account. So just to clean up our inventory again, we'll go to inventory cleaning, we'll clean it up. All right, so moving along um, is the event packages. So in the event packages, we have over 128, 129 buttons here that are custom. And as you can see, they're all the events from the past. So if you're missing an event, you can essentially one by one add them all, depending on which one you missed. So you have all the events. I believe the last one, if I'm not mistaken, is Whacking Day. Let's just quickly go here. Apologies if I'm going too fast, but uh, I just wanted to show you everything here. I think I skipped it. Ah, yeah, Whacking Day. Then you have Squ Squidport, Crusty Land, and then you have the holidays, so all the holidays. So essentially, you could add uh, you know one by one, or you could add all. So there's Valentine's Day, and then if we scroll down, um, there's St. Patrick's Day, which just passed this week. You could add it all or one by one. Similar to Easter, one by one, or you could add all. There's July 4th. There's Halloween, one of my favorite uh, events. And then you have Thanksgiving. All the different years from since 2012. Then Christmas another good, good event minus the snow so that's all the event packages like I mentioned there's over a hundred almost 130 of them that we've created and we wanted to offer it to to our tappers then moving along um, you can essentially look at every event since 2012 that was created and right off the bat um, you can do tie-ins so you could add them all again as I mentioned every button every store menu uh, button's going to have that all. So these are all the tie-ins or promotions. So you could add them one by one or add all with with the front button there, with the first button. Then we have Cirque du Springfield, which I've shown you before. Then I'll show you a couple here. Let's say Springfield Choppers. Everything's free. And then we've created these new buttons here. Um, they used to be just a picture, but we've actually added the description of the button. So it just helps the tappers, the you know, the people that are using the mod to identify what each button does. So it's just so much easier to explain to you what it does. So moving along here, these are all the events. So from Cirque to Springfield all the way to you know Whacking Day. 
and then we have the holidays so similar to the event packages we've basically organized everything with events and then we have the holidays so Christmas here you have all the Christmas items since 2012 A to Z and you can add them all if you like if you just want to add a specific year you, you just go to the event packages so that's Christmas you could add Easter Pretty sure you guys get the, the, the point. Then you have Squid Port, Crusty Land. Then over here in Delete Characters, there's over 700 um, custom buttons that we've created. And essentially, if you need to delete a character, this can do that for you. And the good thing is, if you have some stuck uh, non playable characters in your uh, town, you can delete those as well. So as I mentioned, over 700 buttons. It's taken a long time, but you know, if you need to delete a character, it's good to have. Then we've added the find unique items. So we've already talked about this. This is just a button inside the store menu that we've added. It's similar to the one that's up top here. All right, moving along. We have add debris items to use for, for uh, 2D. So if you're doing any designs, this is really good to, to have. That way you don't have to look for them in decorations. They're just all grouped here in this in this menu for the store. Next we have transportation, nature, and infrastructure. So the, these three menus here, we've updated them in the last uh, week or so. Um, so in transportation, all the vehicles, trains, boats, you name it. It has it all. From A to Z, nature, same thing, A to Z. Then lastly, we have infrastructure. So these are all the, the fences, barriers, towers, walls, uh, gates. As you can see, it has the original item and then you can add 20 of the, uh, the gates, towers. So we'll do a couple just to show you. Let's add 20 of these wall castles. Let's add some Christmas fences. And then maybe we'll do one more. Yeah, cir circus fence. That was from start to Springfield that just ended. Actually, you know what? Let's do cobblestone. I like this one as well. So there we go. We've added those four going into our inventory. There you go, 20 of each, just to show you. So you can manually delete them that's very time consuming so once again let's go to our mis miscellaneous I think one day I'm gonna add this button actually closer to the, either the top or the um, the bottom here it's just I really enjoy this clean inventory button so this button here if you have anything in your inventory it will clean it out so it will take out 3500 um, items in one shot um, if you have you know different quantities of the 3500 items it will take those out as well so that is the in a nutshell your store menu um, the last piece in alphabetical order you have your A to Z find unique um, you know your your decorations in your building so it's similar to the three buttons that I showed you before or the two buttons I should say so this one here and the one on the top right here so this is the Unicorn Elite Mod store menu. Um, similar to the store menu, the inventory menu is the same. As you can see, same buttons. So if you have anything from monorail to decorations in your inventory, it will show up here. Once again, it's easy to, to navigate. You have all your descriptions underneath the image to let you know which, what each button does or what each button offers. So that's it in a nutshell of what the um, the mod offers. Just wanted to answer some of your questions that we've received in the past and recently. And the top questions were, will donuts stick? Yes, donuts will stick, but you need to have a rooted device, either Android um, or BlueStacks 5. There is a video that we've created. Um, just go to our YouTube channel and you will see it there. I'll show you how to root your root BlueStacks 5 
and it will also show you how to install the modded files in BlueStacks. Um, another question that we get all the time, will items disappear when I log into my normal account? Um, no, everything that you add using the mod will actually stick. Um, you will have no issues. There will be no items that will disappear. Um, another question we get asked, is this a scam or does it work? No, this is not a scam. As I mentioned in the beginning, feel free to join our Discord channel. Um, the link was provided earlier in the beginning. We'll also have some links in the description below. Feel free to join us at our uh, Discord channel, our TS Home. My name is Simpson Sapper. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the general um, chat or just shoot me a message. But most definitely, this is not a scam. We do offer the mod. Um, it takes less than 24 hours uh, once a donation is provided and you will be provided to, uh, to the link to the mod files and to the rooted files as well for the mod. Another question we get asked is this safe? Um, will my account be locked out? Um, yes, this is safe. You will have no issues with your account. EA will not ban your account. Um, never heard in, since you know 2012, over, over a decade, that you know accounts have been frozen from EA. So it's 100% safe. And the last two questions that we get asked is, you know, what device can I install this game on? So any version of the Android, you can install this modded version onto your device, um, along with uh, BlueStacks 5. Um, you can install it on either rooted or non-rooted. Also on Android, you can install it if it's rooted as well. And then if you have an iPhone, you can install it on your iPhone, but it has to be jailbroken. Another suggestion, which we haven't done a video on, but maybe one day we will, is um, to install it on your uh, MacBook with BlueStacks, and um, you could use the mod there. So hopefully that uh, you know answers some of your questions, shows you what the mod has to offer, and uh, I'm looking forward to putting out another video soon of the new event that should be coming out this week. So thank you so much. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, check out the uh, you know links in the description. Um, you know, make sure you subscribe, do a like, do all that jazz. Thank you so much for for watching and listening, and stay tuned for the next one. Enjoy your day.